Hello, this is James Stone from jamesstone.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Zurb Foundation, assuming that you already had a Zurb Foundation 5 development environment using Ruby. So the first thing, if you take a look at the docs for Zurb Foundation for Sites 6, and we look at installing, install Foundation for Sites, They'll talk about how to install the command line tool. And then they have this special note here about how to remove it, gem and uninstall foundation. So I'm gonna follow these directions first. And so this is just kind of what I found to be a good idea. Now, the problem I ran into with my other machine was even though I had run this, the foundation CLI still seemed to appear and has all sorts of commands. And even if I run the RBNV rehash, I'm still kind of getting this issue. So what I ended up doing, uh, just so there was no confusion, um, is basically I went in and removed the sim link. So if you type in which, it's gonna tell you um, where the foundation uh, bin file is. And so I just removed this. Okay. So now when I try and run foundation, it's not found. Great, so um, if you flip back, it basically gives you the instructions how to install with NPM. And so if you've already followed the instructions that I had before, properly had a Foundation 5 dev environment, you should already have NPM installed. And I'm just gonna use the dash G, it's the same as dash dash global, but I think it's a little bit more familiar. And Foundation CLI. Okay. So everything should be installed now. I'm gonna go ahead and just go to my desktop directory and foundation uh, new. And so this works a little bit differently than the old foundation CLI. So if we run foundation new, it's gonna give us a different choices. So um, with the new CLI, you can install uh, foundation for sites, for apps or emails. We're gonna do sites, I'm gonna give it a name and we will just call this foundation six demo and what's also interesting is you get two different choices of what type of template you'd like to use i'll probably talk about this in another video but for now just use the basic basic template so the whole process takes a little bit of time like if you've used the cli before it's going to go ahead and download all of the things that you need through bower and to set up which is now using gulp rather than grunt, but it's gonna set up a gulp uh, build system for you in Watcher for SAS. And so, yeah, it just takes a couple minutes here when you do the install and... Okay, so now we're all set. And just like the older version of Foundation, we're just gonna go into that new directory that I created. And I'm gonna open up in Sublime. also going to run npm start so this is one way to run it but i'll show you really quickly if you're kind of curious how this is working so if you go into package and we take a look here under scripts you'll see start runs gulp and then build runs gulp sas so we could call these directly and this is essentially the other way to run it. And for example, if you just wanted to go and generate the SAS, but you didn't want to run the watcher in a loop to regenerate the SAS, you could always run gulp SAS. So that's pretty much it. I recommend if you're interested in how this is all working, take a look at the gulp file and you can take a look at what's going on behind the scenes, probably of interest to you. Um, not that it's that much different than the other grunt tasks that we had before, but they are using auto prefixer. 
and you do have these settings where you can change last two versions and the version of IE that you're trying to support. So worth taking a look at, especially in the more advanced configuration of Foundation. So hopefully this video helped you to get up and running quickly if you're using Foundation 5, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with with Zurb Foundation for Sites version 6.